Hello students, this is a video clip and will demonstrate how to create a financial statement of a new venture, example of PAS Corporation, the textbook. We are given that information of the balance sheet when starting a new business and income statement for the year end. Um, we started this business in the table one, initial balance sheet as of June 30, when uh, they started the business but before the production. So the six months corporation income statement uh, will uh, start from uh, the June 30. So exactly six months, the net sales uh, throughout all these, these expen expenses and net income. So you must read these all the instructions and descriptions. I'm not going to create this, the, the financial statements by reading these all those uh, descriptions, but just to summarize, cash, when the company started their business, common stock issued and the long-term debts. And so a total liability and equity, 50,000. And the cash in 50,000. And then the company purchased the property plant equipment, $20,000. And then remaining cash as of June 30 is $30,000. And then they started production of this, uh, the breathalyzers. As you can see this, internal operating schedules table, the point of, oops, just give me a second, the point of this, uh, the practice is to get the cost of goods sold, eventually the ending inventory. To get that in ending inventory at the in year and balance sheet, December 31st, here, ending inventory, right? So the older procedure of the ending inventory calculation is very important because it is correlated to the cash payment, cash receipt uh, with the cost of goods sold when the company sell their uh, all the products. And then I uh, will also track all of this ending inventory every uh, the month. Okay, here the cost of breathalyzers, the we are expecting 1200 1200 a number of units sell uh, for six months. Each month we have a projections 100, 100, 250, and 500 on December. So the cost of 65 the per unit basis. Now let's fix and then link all the number of units sold. And then we got this is 78, exactly the same as this. And then Corporation production and inventory schedule to get this ending inventory. Again, the final destination is to get the ending inventory. Here, the beginning finished goods. The beginning finished goods, uh, how do you get this beginning? Right here, the production 200, 200, 300. That is the number of units produced. And then beginning finished goods, and then production cost all the uh, the components of this uh, breathalyzers and direct labor cost and then production cost. Let's just link all these components. First, and then yeah, we got the 65. So let's go. The beginning finished goods is zero. Why? Because they just start uh, the making their product on, on July. So there's no beginning finished goods yet. And then this part should be now correlated this, right? But I want to fix this 40 so that we can just increase like this. And then the Observant materials on December. Now we have right twelve thousand like this. You can also, uh, if you want more um, like efficient, and then we can uh, make this function uh, by fixing the C, right? But releasing the seventy-seven. We want to fix the 74, right? But release this D. So let me 
just fix this. Okay, and then let's drag and down. And then we got all these numbers. And then let me just make this line. And then the total production cost should be right all these components cost and then we got this number and then the sum of each part uh, so we have the a hundred four thousand is total production cost total inventory which is a beginning inventory plus the production cost beginning plus production cost so total inventory is 13,000 at the end of the July there is no beginning finished goods on July but we just started produce uh, the the this uh, the, the breathalyzers now we need the cost of goods sold we calculate here right and then the ending inventory is the difference between two because less cost cost of goods sold which is the cost uh, cost of inventory inventory sold of that amount but we don't have right now this beginning finish the goods is the same as the ending inventory right then let me just uh, drag to the right and then cost of goods sold as well and end inventory let's link this ending inventory of July up to the beginning inventory of the August right because the same concept and then we got finally ending inventory that is the most important part reason why how we do this uh, activity so now let's move uh, to the balance sheet at and the cash flow statement. This internal uh, the operating and schedules is just the schedules internally used uh, to create this the financial statement and, and the cash uh, the financial statement. We already have the information of the income statement at the end of the year uh, for the period. And we also need to uh, finish uh, this year end balance sheet using the first, uh, the initial the balance sheet and ending balance sheet and then we can get this is uh, the, the cash flow statement okay so i'm going to continue uh, this part uh, from the next video clip i see you next video clip bye bye